Oh, oh my gosh, I caught a redfish. Today I am at Varn Park here. Our little walkway back there is open. So those of you who fish Varn Park and you've been wondering if it's open yet, it's open. <laughs> I was having to take stuff down the stairs way down there like a month or two ago when it opened and uh, it was June, but uh, yeah, we have our pathway back, thank goodness. But I didn't have my cart today because Andy's got my car. I just got my dad's little car, so I don't have a way to get my cart here. But I've got something super exciting to show you right here. But you can't buy this yet, unfortunately. But say hello. This is our new prototype of the Fishing Girl Surf Fishing Rod. 10 foot, six inch. This is Ninja Tackle created this. Matt Poole, you are awesome. Thank you so much. But check this out. Look at this work. Check that out. Fishing Girl logo all the way up. We got pink and black colors. We've got this beautiful grip. Look at this. It's got shells on the grip. But I'm super excited. I cannot wait to try this out. This is my first time getting ready to throw this line out here. I'm gonna throw the Go Fish Cam and then we're gonna test out the new rod. That's all we're doing today. So uh, catch you when I get set up. And I've just got fish bites on there. I've got, well, there's floats on the hooks so that we can see them, see what's going on. But I've got some pink clam and I've also got uh, sand flea fish bites. Woo! Wow, that is violent. I need to get it out past this part of the waves because that's pretty violent. Right about there should be good. On our new uh, fishing girl rod, I'm putting some salted shrimp. I've got shrimp fish bites and I'm gonna put this blue crab down at the bottom. Crabs would be lower in the water column than shrimp, so that makes sense to me to put it there. Look at this beautiful thing. Ah, uh, so pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna be talking about this a lot. It's so awesome. And we might have some sand fleas down here, but I'm gonna toss this close for now. We'll try some different distances with this new rod and see how it casts. That's right, that, that was so easy. That cast really nice. Smooth going through the, going through the lines, all right. Let's see what gets hit first. I'm seeing sand flea shells, so I'm guessing we got sand fleas here. Yeah, we have a bunch. Let me try. Oh yeah, we got a ton. That one handful. Look at how many I got. <laughs> that was tons of them. Okay gonna throw them. Yeah, I saw shells and I was like, yep, we got sand fleas. Guy's raking for them. And get them right with your hands. Sticking in the bait bucket here. We'll grab some more, get some bait. It's coming in already. So I'm actually gonna put this right up here. be a better angle too for the go fish cam I hope we have a fish on the go cam the go fish cam I'm, I'm gonna walk it down here yep we got something oh yeah I hope we get it all the way in this is pretty violent wash today is that what I think it is is that a pompano on the go fish cam yes <laughs> that is amazing. And on the go fish cam, that is a keeper. Holy cow. Look at this fish. Oh my God. I don't have my cart with me. I mean, he's definitely a keeper. Holy moly. On the floats. These two floats, they definitely work. I needed this so bad. Thank you, Jesus. It's been a couple stressful days, I'm telling you. And just catching this pompano 
is making my day. Dude, okay, okay. We're doing this caveman style. He's 11 and a half. 11 and a half, almost 12, nope. Yeah, 11 and a half to the fork and the tail. He is keeper. All right, dude. He's coming home. I've not brought a pompano home in a while. Oh my gosh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we got hooked up on the go fish cam. And that will definitely be on the footage. Cannot wait to see that. If you're watching this video, I guarantee that I put that go fish cam footage out already. So now we've got a bunch of pompano here and we actually have one hooked up. Look at that. He's hooked up back there. And we have another one in the forefront trying to get the bait. Look at him, he's coming in. He's got this sand flea in his mouth. He's trying to get it in his mouth. But I think what's happening here is because the other one is hooked up and he's doing all those head shakes and everything to try to get loose, you can see he's hooked up back there. And that's not a baby pompano. That is an 11 and a half inch pompano. But here I have pulled that fish in and that was a keeper pompano. And there'll be a link right here to that video, so go watch that. That's about it. That's about how far it was. That's it. And what did I tell you? I had the camera. I'd taken the camera off to put sunblock on. And I didn't have it back on yet. And boom. That's it with a keeper pompano. Whew. Let's check this guy out. Look at him. Holy man. Oh, that's awesome. Another fish on the go fish cam here. I thought we might, but I wasn't sure. Oh man, what is that? It's big, whatever it is. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, I caught a red fish. I caught a red fish. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. There it is. A red fish. And he didn't waste any time. I'm going to slow this down, but you'll see he just came right in, snatched that bait, got hooked immediately. This is like the best day. This is the best day. Oh my gosh. We're gonna put him over here. Wow. Yeah, careful. Okay, so they have to be uh, 18 to 27 inches to keep. And that is on, oh my gosh, the float rig. That's on our float rig, guys. Taking another picture of that. Hooking right up. Whoa, he is not happy. On the float rig. We gotta measure him up quick in case he's gotta go back, but I think he might be a keeper. Yeah, 18 and a half inches, so I believe I can. I'm gonna double check the, the regulations, but I'm pretty sure it's 18 to 27 inches for redfish. Yep, 18 to 27 inches. He's 18 and a half. Good. Oh man, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. Oh, that is awesome. Check him out. And he is definitely keeper size. So we put him in here with the pompano. Oh yeah. That is my first. Thank you, thank you. Well, I got a pompano too. Yeah, look at the blue on the tail. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Dudes, this is like the best day ever. Oh my gosh. To, to get a redfish and a pompano. So that's about how far we've been out. I'm gonna get a picture here. Look at this. Dude. I still can't believe it. Oh man. Let's get him back in. Let me just uh, tighten this up. Oh wait, we got something on here. We got something on here.
It's another pompano. I don't think it's a keeper. No, it's definitely not a keeper. Oh, crap. There's something on there, too. Oh, my gosh. This is insane. Oh, it popped off. Get the bait. Okay, didn't get the bait, so here we'll uh we'll get this guy off. And he's on our silver rig, guys. He's not a keeper, but this is non-stop right now. I actually need to drink some water because I don't have any electrolytes or water in my system. So ouch. Jeez, he is <laughs> flailing. His little uh spikes are getting me. Alrighty. He's going back. I don't even measure him up. He is too small. But we'll get this guy back. I'm so glad I came here. I am so glad. A good shake. We'll give the uh, go fish cam a little shake. Let's see if that helps. We'll go get some more sand fleas. We'll wait for this water to go out. Whole bunch. Yeah, I can feel them in there. Got four or five. I should have brought my sand flea rake. Right? There's so many sand fleas here. Look at this dude. He is massive. Look how big he is. I probably won't use that, but look at him. He's huge. Okay, we'll get a few more. There's so many. I see like this huge colony right here. I can't tell if this is just loose or if I've got a fish on here. So I'm gonna reel it in, check it out. Okay. I need to rebate. I'm feeling fish on here. Go fish cam again. I'm gonna come down closer. We have a lot of weight on this with the camera and the Sputnik. It is a lot of weight. And then a fish. Oh, yeah, I guess not. I think it was right in Oh, look, it took the float and everything off. It's probably crabs. Probably crabs took that float off. Right off of the hook. We're gonna put sand flea fish bites on both with a sand flea. I know there's crabs out there. Look at how they're decimating this float. They will do that. That is not fish, that is crabs. And these crabs are pretty aggressive. I would say even the, the speckled crab, this blue crab, they don't waste any time grabbing the bait. You can see all that is left is the float and that floats pretty beat up too. Wow, that's big waves. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm trying to throw the go fish cam out in that. Woo. Oh, 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 we're getting tugged. Ah. This one's going. Just trying to keep the tension on. Feels like it's swimming in. Could be another palm. Oh. Yep, yep, up another pompano. It's another tiny one. He's not tiny, but he's not keeper. Doubt that he's keeper. He's only nine inches to the fork, so he's going back. Cute little pompano, though. Dude, you are spiking me. We'll get a we'll get a little selfie with him first, dude. Ow. All right. He's got to go back. All right, we got another pompano on the go fish cam. And uh, another short one. I don't know, it might have been the same one that I just caught on the, uh, the fishing girl pole. Maybe it swam over to uh, the go fish camp pole. I don't know, the school is going through, but they're small. These are smaller. So we want the keepers. But we're gonna get him off of here. He's gotta go back, he's too small. Hey buddy. These are a little more yellow, so um, 
someone can chime in here. So I believe that when they have this really yellow on their belly like this, that they're coming out of the river is what I have heard. So someone can confirm that. See, look at all the yellow. Nice, really, really, really pretty coloring. Oh, wow, something, uh, I think that's blood from him all over my hand, but I'm trying to get this guy back safely without hurting him or me. Here you go, buddy. All right, we're gonna pack up because I actually wanna get to the bait shop before they close if possible and see if I can't get these fish weighed in. If not, I want to take them tomorrow because I never remember to take fish to get weighed in. And I would love to do that. So it's going to be a little... I'm going to have a heavy cooler coming back. But it's going to take a little bit getting this packed up. I don't have a cart to use to, to balance everything on. Okay, well... We're getting ready to pack up and go home, but you just missed, I think, a bunch of stuff because uh, I was packing up, got a keeper, uh, not another keeper pompano, but I got another undersized pompano, and uh, I thought it was recording the whole time, but I guess it wasn't. So I'm gonna put that picture up right here. Fortunately, I got a picture of the guy. We're packing up for the day. We got that keeper redfish. So excited about it. He's, got, he's, he's gonna be dinner tonight, plus that pompano, and I've caught like maybe four undersized pompano as well so I mean I've been having a blast today this has been the best the best day I've been having some really stressful things going on lately this has like been a gift from God to give me this this redfish today it is so such a blessing such a gift thank you so much for watching I appreciate you all and as always tight lines God bless and we'll see you I need your big brother. Oh, okay. Well, that's one way to put him back. He just drops in. Oh, there he goes. Come on, buddy. Whoa. I hope he gets out all right. These waves are violent right here. Whew, it's got me all wet. <laughs>